Today, we're talking about being able to retire. So that means you're going to need retirement income with real estate using tax sale auction. Now, these auctions are taking place in 3,000 counties across the United States. Welcome back. I'm Ted Thomas, and you're going to find this very interesting. Sooner or later, everyone wants the security and comfort and the pleasure of retirement. So today's episode is a discussion on retirement with real estate using tax sale auctions. And later in the episode, I'll show you the students who have retired actually using these tax deeds as the vehicle that gives them the retirement money that they want. Now, I'm Ted Thomas, and for the past 30 years, I've been involved in the subset of traditional real estate. Now, what is that all about? Well, I'm an investor, I'm also a guide, and I'm a publisher. But more than anything, I'm an investor. So when it comes to investing in tax defaulted property, I've made myself an expert over the past 30 years. Now I've watched a number of my students build retirement programs where they earn more than $10,000 a month simultaneously. They're not only growing their net worth, but they're growing their income at the same time. Now you've got to have income in retirement. Net worth doesn't work very well if you go to the Safeway or the public or the Piggly Wiggly. So what's important to the student investors is that they have cash flow. So we're really going to talk about cash flow today. So this episode is about how to retire with real estate using tax sale auctions. So we can just call them tax defaulted auctions, but you're getting the idea. In other words, you want to secure your financial future. And that's what this one's all about. So for the past 30 years, I've been involved in tax defaulted real estate. Now it's similar to the traditional real estate, the big difference is these properties are defaulted. Now, they're the same homes, they're small apartments, small farms, maybe even small office buildings, and even residential lots. But it's the same as traditional real estate, except the people haven't paid the tax. And the county, what have they done? They've confiscated the property, and now they're reselling it at a tax defaulted auction. So this episode is all about how would you retire by using those tax sale auctions? Okay, now surprisingly, there's over 3,000 counties across the United States. All of those counties will have tax defaulted auction. These are public auctions. They're advertised on the county website and in the newspaper. So this is called a tax defaulted real estate business. Now the local county is authorized by the state legislature in each one of the states. Now the state governs the auction, then they make rules called statutes, and they push them down to the local county board of supervisors or county commissioners, and they enforce the rules and get these properties sold. All right, now what happens? The property owner defaulted. Once they defaulted, the board of supervisors will have the treasurer send numerous notices of default. And if the people don't respond, well, the treasurer will levy a tax, then they'll confiscate the property. When they confiscate the property, then they'll put it up for sale at a tax defaulted auction. All right, now the county, the local county does not want the property. What do I mean by that? They don't want the property. They want the revenue from the property. So what they'll do is they'll sell it at auction at a low price. Now, what's a low price? Well, the low price is basically going to be somewhere very close to the back taxes when the auction starts. So the auction could start at 10 or 20 cents on the dollar. However, it's going to sell to the highest bidder. The back taxes, that's where it's going to start, but it's going to be sold to the highest bidder without a mortgage or a deed of trust loan. All right, now the treasurer is authorized to cancel the deed of trust loan or the mortgage on the property. Now, that doesn't mean that they took care of municipal liens or federal liens. They could still be in place on the property. All right, now students buy these properties, from my experience, at 10, 20, 30 cents on the dollar. And then what they want, they bought them low. So I teach them, sell them low. Don't go for the gold. But what you want to do is you want to make sure you have margin between the buying price and the price that it's worth in the marketplace. And then sell somewhere in between that. So I teach my students, buy it low, sell it low, give yourself enough margin. So if you bought a property for, say, 10 or 20 cents on the dollar, what do you think? Could you sell it for... 40 or 50, 60 cents on the dollar? Well, of course you could, especially when the property has no mortgage or deed of trust on the loan. All right, now the county needs money. That's why they're selling these properties at auction. They need the money 
to run the county. And I'll come back and talk about that. So they're going to sell these properties, starting bid, 10 or 20 cents on the dollar, always sold to the highest bidder. Now, the county needs money to pay for the county services. What would that mean? they got to pay for the school teachers. they got to pay for the firefighters. They have to pay for the police department. They have to pay for the libraries, even some money for the hospital. All those bills have to be paid and the county administration bill. So the money from that comes from property taxes. So I'll give you some examples of this as we go along. So the whole point is, is we're really talking about how to retire with real estate using tax sale auction. Now these auctions are taking place in 3,000 counties across the United States. Every county will have properties to sell. So let's talk about Mr. BB, okay? His name is really Bill. Now, he likes to buy a tax defaulted auction. Now, he only paid $10,000 for this property. All right, so he bought it at the auction. Well, he's bought it at a good price, so what can he do with it? Well, he could sell it outright. So that's what he does. Now, the property has a value that's higher, so what he's going to do is he's going to sell the property for $30,000. Now, if he sells the property for $30,000, obviously, he's going to get $20,000 in income. Now, we all want more income, but what are we talking about today? Today, we're talking about being able to retire. So that means you're going to re need retirement income. So you get your $20,000 that you just made on the property, as you can see from the example. However, is that income? Yes, one time only. Wouldn't it be better to have income on a regular basis? So we teach people, think about what you're doing. If you're going to sell the property, why not use an installment sale? You'd save on your tax dollars and you could get revenue for that property coming in on a regular basis. So what does Bill do? Well, you don't see this happen because he bought it at 10000 sold it at 30000 But what most people don't see is what we're going to talk about next. And what we're going to talk about is we're going to see he's going to use an installment sale. That can be a contract with an installment sale. Some people call that a contract with deed. So now he accepts a smaller down payment of $5,000 and then monthly payments of $300 for as long as 10 years. Now he's going to collect a lot more money. So if you did the math, he would get, get his $5,000 and he would get all his payments for 10 years. He'd come up with $40,000. Well, if you looked at the original example, he made $20,000, but by financing it, he's going to collect $40,000 over 10 years. Now, all of that isn't profit, but you're getting the idea. The point where it works very well. So what are we talking about today? We're talking about using real estate tax sale auctions to make property. So we buy it low, we can sell it low, or we can sell it with installment sales. Works perfectly. Now, Mr. Bill, he's done that over 60 times in a period of six years' time. And because he was doing it in Michigan, he was able to do that with credit cards. So he used credit cards for all of those purchases. All right, now is he buying glamorous, wonderful country club properties? No, none of these are glamorous, but there's a lot of people that need a roof over their head that need a payment plan because they were rejected at the bank. So they're interested in that installment sale. They got a low down payment and they can make payments on the property. All right, now no license is required to do this. Anybody can do that. The process helps everybody. It helps the county because they got money to, to run the government. It helps the individual that learns how to do it because now they're going to get installment payments or the big profit on the first time around. And it helps the people that want to get a good deal on a property. Many people have had their credit. They have poor FICO scores, so they don't have good credit. They need credit so we can sell to those people on a regular basis. All right, now let's think about what we're talking about here. We're talking about 3,000 counties nationwide that do this business. Now, folks, I'm an author and a publisher, but I'm here to tell you I'm not a financial planner. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a broker or a CPA, but this system works, and it's worked for hundreds of years. Now, if you're going to buy property, here's the two mistakes that people make. Number one mistake is this. They don't look at the property. So do not buy a property unless you've looked at it. Why do I say that? You want to have boots on the ground. What if there was a fire the day before? What if there was a hurricane? What if there was uh, some kind of damage that came from a windstorm? What if I was next to a pig farm and it wasn't going to smell very good? You'd want to make sure that you had looked at the property. So that's big mistake number one. Big mistake number two is you don't have a planned strategy to sell it. It's called an exit strategy. What's an exit strategy? What are you going to sell this property for? Well, I just gave you an exit strategy. Number one is sell it with an installment sale. Number two was why don't you buy it low and sell it low? You're getting the idea. 
So if you have thought this stuff out, you can see how to retire using tax defaulted properties could be a good business for you. All right, now here's what you have to be careful of. You have to be careful when you buy a property from the county. They're selling the property, buyer beware as is. The county sells buyer beware as is. That means the county government is not going to guarantee in any way the condition of the property. The county government is not going to warranty that the pr title is free of any defect. So you're kind of getting the idea. So you need to do your due diligence before you buy any of these properties. Now, the educated buyers are the ones that make money at these auctions. The non-educated buyers are the ones that get in trouble. You don't want to be a non-educated buyer. All right, so in my opinion, one of the most important things you can do is have a coach who's not only purchased properties, but also has sold the properties so that you get someone that understands the buying process and the selling process. I'm showing you deals that when you see this kind of deal, it's a little bit on the unbelievable side. Folks, this is a way to make serious money with tax defaulted properties, and you could do this. It would take care of your retirement. So ask yourself, are you willing to work for the kind of rewards we're talking about here? I hope you are. I can tell you this is a money machine in the hands of an educated buyer. You see those little white circles? That's how many auctions are taking place within that state in the next 90 days. This calendar updates every single day. I'm here today to show you how to make money. To do that, I'm going to show you briefly that there are thousands of tax defaulted real estate properties across the 3,000 plus counties in the United States. This is quite interesting. You're looking at the Ted Thomas Magic Interactive Map and Auction Calendar. It changes every day. Now, I created the calendar and the map so I would know how many auctions are taking place every day in the United States. Now I can show the little guy how to make money. Most importantly, I created this system so I could have an auction list for each auction 24 seven. All right, that auction calendar can really help you folks. If you find a county that has a small population, low population county, there's gonna be a dozens of these, sometimes hundreds of tax to fall to property. Now in large population counties, there's gonna be thousands of these properties are up for auction. Thousands are up for auction every year. I've been to auctions where the auction will take all day and they still can't sell all the property. But if you'd like an auction map, you'd like to know where these are taking place and how many, just go right below me and you can register and get that. I'm Ted Thomas. I made $100,000 my first year. So much more richly rewarded from, and, it, and it's not a lot of work and anybody can do this. You don't need any special skills. Don't forget, request your free auction list right below me.